Transformers, Age of Extinction. Two hours and 45 minutes of suck. The film is noteworthy first and foremost for the absence of what's his name? You know, that actor who appeared in the first three installments beginning in 2007. The surprise for me is that he's been replaced by two-time Academy Award nominee Mark Wahlberg. Mark, what are you doing in a Transformers movie? These are ear-splitting, eye-gouging exercises in dumbbell fireworks cinema. No! Wahlberg plays Texas inventor mechanic Cade Yeager, who has a barn full of misbehaving robots and a misbehaving 17-year-old daughter who looks 14, although she wears heavy makeup 24 hours and 7 days a week. Cade discovers a rusted out truck in an old movie theater, and yes, it is Optimus Prime. The Autobots are being hunted down by black ops uh, squadrons led by an evil man in black played by Titus Welliver. Uh, who's under the control, control of a government baddie played by Kelsey Grammer. Uh, the Decepticons have been destroyed, but their parts are being used to create new robots. There's going to be a big, big showdown at the end of this movie. Watch out, Chicago. Here they come again. The film's dialogue is full of Clichés, platitudes, sentimentality, macho blather, and such memorable lines as release the mini drones. Not exactly unleash the kraken. Michael Bay's technique is to combine explosions, blazing gunfire, crashing cars and trucks, golden sunsets, and battling robots in a way that strangely resembles a bloated television commercial. At the end of Transformers Age of Extinction, I wanted to make a citizen's arrest for assault with intent to bore to death.